Hey there, this is Mercedes from Pretty Webs. That's me up in the corner. Just wanted to put a face to the voice for you. If you downloaded the free mini mock-up kit, I made this video specifically for you, but really anybody who's making graphics for the web or graphics in general uh, will benefit from knowing a little bit about typography and having some resources to get things done quicker and to find inspiration. Okay, so the first resource I wanted to show you is a type matching game. It's called Type Connection. It'll give you a general feel for font matching rather than helping you match specific fonts, but it's still a good resource for learning and understanding general principles of, of font pairing. So what you do is choose a font and then it'll just kind of give you questions. It's just a fun little little way to explore typography and kind of get a get your feet wet and understand a little bit more about what fonts go well together and which ones will work so that first one is type connection second resource i wanted to show you is font pair font pair is a resource for pairing google fonts it has a more specific breakdown than you would find on google fonts um, google fonts is huge and it can be daunting sometimes to to sift through all of that so this kind of gives you more of a breakdown of of uh, what fonts go well together and it'll just make it a little easier to narrow down exactly what you want since they're all google fonts they are all free for commercial use but it's just simple, as simple as, you know, do you want a sans serif with a serif? Do you want a serif with a sans, um, you know, cursive with sans serif? And um, when you kind of have a feel for what you want, it'll just give you different examples of how, of how those uh, fonts will look together. So this one is called font pair. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is called typespiration.com. Typespiration is a great resource for coders, but also for font pairing inspiration. Uh, for I mean, I use it all the time. I'm not a coder, uh, but I, I like to kind of take a look at what other people are doing, how people are using fonts in their work, uh, because it gives visual examples and color palettes if you need them these font pairing examples make it so much easier to narrow down the look you're going for or just copy the exact font pairing from the examples all of these fonts are google fonts so they're open license and can be used commercially which is great okay and again that is typespiration the next one we're going to look at is type io i really like this one because it kind of gives you an example of uh, what it'll look like in an ad or in a graphic that you would typically use online. This is um, something that you would see on a website for sure or in an ad. So this one, I, I this website I really, really like um, and I use all the time. So it helps out in kind of getting a visualiz visualization of what um, what you can go for. So Type.io shows you real world examples of how font pairings can be used and what they look like on websites and ad campaigns. This will help you get a feel for the look and mood you want to create with your font pairings, which is really helpful. Okay, so the next one we'll look at is Font in Use. Font in Use is another website with lots of visual uh, inspiration for typography use and pairing. You'll find examples in a variety of contexts from book covers and posters to web design and social media and if you look here um, you can see how they have it categorized you know if you're in a specific industry like if you're in automotive industry they have examples 115 examples of specific automotive industry and how they're using fonts there but you can also go you know to format um, advertising, art, illustration, and how they're being used in these specific areas. So this is really, really helpful. You know, if you if you kind of know what industry you're working in, or if you know what you're going to be using it for, you can kind of get more of an idea of how 
these you know different fonts are being used in in and you don't have to stick to these uh, fonts that they have here but it does give you an example you can find lookalike fonts on google fonts or really anywhere on the web you know it'll just give you an example of what goes well together and it'll it'll help you out a lot in that respect okay so the next site we're going to look at is type wolf uh, type wolf features different typography pairings every day to help you to help inspire you in your graphics type wolf is more than inspiration site though it's loaded with guides and resources that will help you with your typography but if you go you know through some of these every single day you'll see you know they have font recommendations and this is my favorite area so that one is type wolf and the next is a google fonts this is my first choice always i always go to google fonts first there's tons of information here about specific fonts but more than that if you're looking for if you already have a font in mind like say uh, this one for example you really 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 like dancing script but you don't know what to use with it google fonts gives you specific or other fonts that this one gets paired with a lot so it's not necessarily designers that are doing these pairings but you know I mean a lot of people are using it so it's definitely pleasing to the eye but if you go through I, I love this because you can kind of go through and right now you know that was dancing script with Roboto dancing script with Lado 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that one but um, and then Open Sans, you know, these are just different ways that this has been used in the past uh, or actually popular pairings for this font. Another thing that Google Fonts has that I really like is if you're, say I selected this, this font right here. And I selected Railway. And... Maybe I'm going to select Roboto too. So I've selected, actually I have four families selected, Roboto, Railway, Lado, and Open Sans. What I really like because I do work a lot on websites and on the web is Google Fonts will show you how much uh, loading time it's going to take to to load these fonts up, which is extremely helpful if you're working on the web. If you're using Google Fonts for just, you know, putting together some some feature images or other graphics this is probably not going to be as important to you but it's definitely something to keep in mind so the you know if i remove some of these see how the loading time changes so that's really really helpful just knowing how much time it's going to take to load these these fonts on your site it also gives you a whole bunch of other um, css information and uh, information for for putting the font on your website if you're interested in that if not you know it's just a, it's just something to know about and then it's just as it's just really easy all you have to do is click download and those fonts are yours these are completely commercial uh, or free for commercial use and they're open license so Google fonts is definitely one of the best places to go for finding fonts for your graphics. Even if you already have a font in mind that you want to use, like this one, I kind of just searched for it. But you can go through and just just scroll through here looking for a font that inspires you or that you really, really like, and then look for fonts that will go with it. And they have all of these categories. I, I tend to like to choose my display fonts through here just because these are the most fun for me. If I like this font right here, for example, and I choose um, that font, I, it's always going to give me fonts that are going to go well or have have been paired uh, with this font in the past. So it's so, so helpful to have this website. It even shows it to you at different sizes, which is really nice. So Google Fonts, again, this is going to be um, probably the best place to pick your fonts. 
So if you're looking for inspiration, you can go to any one of the other sites that I mentioned. Any of these sites are going to be great. They all have so many visual examples, which is so, so helpful. But I always recommend Google Fonts, going to Google Fonts and finding font pairing. And again, I've put a list together of all of these resources, a clickable list. So you can use that anytime you need to go through and just kind of get some inspiration going. I hope this video was helpful and I'm sure it'll be a, a huge time saver for you when you're picking out your fonts. Until next time, this is Mercedes.